What is up guys? It is Pizza Master Knight here. Welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video, we are going to be playing some Minecraft. So I'm going to show you guys what I call the Crystal Palace. This um, build is actually still in the works. Um, it is not furnished yet. But I want to show you guys anyway, just because I've been so excited to show you guys something. So I'm going to show you guys this build right here. Let's look at it from the outside real quick. So there it is from the outside. As you can see. I'm not going to show you guys too much. But yeah. There it is right there. So let's go inside and let's take a look. And again, it's not furnished, so... Hopefully, in the future, I will furnish it and put it on my YouTube channel. Anyway, um, before we get started, though, if you guys are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe, as it really helps out a lot, and you don't want to miss out on my videos, so please subscribe. But anyway, here is my uh, palace here. So this is actually the, the glass elevator. We'll come back to this once I'm done through, once I'm done through showing you guys the first lore so now what's cool is that the first thing you guys are going to notice is that these switches and the lights on the ceiling some lights are programmed to be on all the time but some lights you can actually turn off so check this out <clears throat> check that out isn't that like so cool and we're going to come back to the lights here in a minute as soon as i'm done showing you guys um this part of the house but this, so this is kind of like the main entrance, kind of like what they call the foyer, I believe, of the house. But anyway, this right here is the dining area. I'm gonna put some tables and some chairs over here. And in this room is the kitchen. I'm gonna put like a stove and like a counter and like a cooking area. And this has the lights as well. So, yeah. Um, some of the rooms like this, like the foyer, these lights are always on. As you can see, the switch is for the dining room lights and not the foyer lights. So those lights are always on. And that'll make more sense here in a bit. But over here is the living room. I'm going to put a TV over here somewhere. I need to add some more lights, I think, to this room. And the living room has a balcony, which you guys will see more of soon once I get to the top floor. But here's the living room, and then here's the hallway, and I have some empty rooms. Um, the living room also has one of these switches where you can turn off the lights. But I don't know why it's not turning off that part of the lights. It should, but for some reason it is not. I need to fix that. Let me try that again. I don't know. For some reason it's not turning off those lights. I don't know why. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to fix that. Um, but then we have the hallway here, and this, we have this room. This room, I guess this room does not have a switch for the lights. Um, and then here's some other empty rooms. And we have four empty rooms. I don't know what they're going to be yet. But um, I am going to decide what they're going to do. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, my wrist is actually hurting. Because I went to the arcade today and my wrist is all like sore from playing so many games at the arcade. I was there for like five hours. But yeah. So that is the bottom floor. So the elevator is actually pretty cool. Now you can't actually build a working elevator in the Xbox 360 version of Minecraft because we don't have command blocks. You need a command block to be able to build an elevator. We don't have that, so we just have to pretend. So the elevator is actually pretty cool. You can just take the elevator and just go straight up to the top floor. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way and take the stairs. So I'm going to take the stairs because I already showed you the elevator part. cool and what <laughs> watch out don't fall like I almost did and I'll show you guys the balcony first um, the indoor balcony so this is an indoor balcony over here which you can actually go and you can actually look down in the living room which is actually pretty cool 
I really like that. That is like super cool. And you can even turn off on and off the lights from here. Wow. It's actually really interesting. I did not realize that it was going to work out that way. Um, I need, actually need to add some doors for the outside balcony. I'll just break these and show you guys. There's the outside balcony where you guys can go outside. Like if you just want to have lunch on like the rooftop or whatever, you can totally do that. <clears throat> and then over here, so this is actually where you come up to, um, where you come up to the uh, second floor. I'm going to show you guys this door later. That'll make sense later. But um, this hallway actually takes you to the balcony, like I showed you, or it takes you to these empty rooms over here. I have some more empty rooms, which are going to be bedrooms. I want my bedrooms on the top floor. So, yeah. And then here is my other bedroom. And that is where that door leads to. Remember that door that you guys saw by the outdoor balcony? It just it leads in a big circle. So this room right here, this corner room that is right by the balcony, by the outdoor balcony, literally has two entrances. One that way and one that way. And that's actually pretty cool because like if like let's say an intruder breaks into your home and they go this way they're not going to realize that because you know intruders just move really quickly so they're not going to realize that so what you could do is you could surprise them by jumping to the stairs and then meeting them on the other side <laughs> so let's pretend that that's actually going to happen like let's just say let me get an armor stand real quick and I think that's that's my entire house. Oh, and I was going to show you one more thing with the lights, but I'll show you that here in a minute. Yeah, so let's just say some dude. Okay. It's like over here. He comes in. Whoops. Um, let's turn him this way. Yeah. And he's like going in right there. You could easily just go this way and meet him on this side. Oh, did I break it? I didn't know a sword could actually break an armor stand. I didn't think swords could break anything. I thought they were just like, you know, for fighting. That's weird. Um, but yeah. Now I'll show you guys um, the house at night and why we have all these lights. So as you can see at night, um, we still have lights to light up like the ne ne necessary parts of the house. But like over here in the living room, or let's say I'm like doing some like work in the kitchen, and it's time for me to like you know go to bed. I'm gonna turn off these lights. See how now it's completely dark in the kitchen at night. And it should be the same for the living room. I don't know why it's doing that. I thought, I don't know. I, I need to figure that out. That's just weird. But let's say that, like, this guy over here wants to, like, go to bed early. He can just turn off his lights. And there's not even that much light coming in through the window, see? It could actually be better. But you kind of get my point. And then the guy in the next room can actually go to sleep. Because he can keep his light on. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, I hope to show you guys this house again whenever it is furnished and completely uh, ready to show you guys. But um, there is the house for now. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I hope to see all of you guys in the next one. And later.